Hey guys, Renee from Bargain Hunter Thrift Store here. And we just bought a really, really, really good deal for $800. Um, we actually ended up buying it from another dealer that bought it at an auction and they were buying it for eBay. But you'll see the items, but those items are not that good for eBay because they only bring like, you know, 10, 20, 30, sometimes 40 bucks. But a lot of them like 10, 20 bucks and then they do free shipping. So, and they're heavy and on eBay, it's not good. Um, tools are not that good on eBay, but they're vintage. You know, we got stuff from 1885. Um, she paid like around 800 bucks for the deal. I paid her 800 bucks for the deal. We got over 507 wrenches. But people say all the time, hey, Renee, those deals are not out there. It's impossible. You can't make money like that. People don't sell deals like this. I'm going to show you right now what I paid $800 for. And it's, um, it's, it's really, really cool. So we're at Bargain Hunters. I'm going to turn the video around. We're going to walk in. Uh, before we do that right now, guys, if you'd like to see more videos, hit that thumbs up. If this video goes to a thousand thumbs up, which is a lot for this video, but let's just say it goes to a thousand thumbs up. I'm going to make a really cool, fun video with Casey, something exciting. I don't know what yet, but it's going to be really cool. And um, hit the subscribe button so you get the notifications. Click the bell, smash it, support it, like the channel. You guys have been giving us a lot of love. We really appreciate it. But let's turn around. Let's go into Burger Hunters. So this is the front of the store right now. We got some Easter stuff on sale. Let's walk in and show some stuff. I also got some really cool blacksmith tools in there. Hey, thank you for coming. Thank you very much. Thank you guys. Enjoy. Yeah, thank you very much, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. Enjoy. Come see us again. Definitely. Here, will you put these stickers away, Cheryl? So check these out. Oh, actually, put these just in the back then somewhere. I'm going to price these later. These are all blacksmith tools. Oh, nice. And then this is for fire hydrants and vintage ones. So oh, just yeah. put these four like somewhere and then I'll price yeah. Remind me because there's no more time by the time I'm done with this video. Yeah. No, so these are four inches. And then check this one down there. This is actually an Indian motorcycle wrench. We'll put 30 bucks on it. It says Indian motorcycles on it. I'm always talking to myself. <laughs> it's kind of what I do. So, um, yeah, so this is really cool. But somebody was asking me that we show more white shots of collections as they come in. So there you go. Super white shot. Oh, that's, that's better than your Coca-Cola. Oh, you think so? One of my regulars, say hi. You want to be on YouTube? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> what kind of, which, which two are you getting? Okay, let me, let me put my motor trip in. <laughs> All right. So that one is super cool on the right. Check yeah. out the handle. Here, move your hand up a little bit. Yeah, see the handle? Somebody twisted it. Yeah. And then this one, both nine ninety nine, right? Yep. One. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Good deals. Cool wrenches. American history. You know, probably both close to hundred years. Seventy. Yeah, probably around hundred years. Oh, so. yeah. These are easily, especially this one. Yeah. No, that the, the twisted metal is really cool. For ten bucks, you can't beat it. Yeah. All right. Enjoy. Good seeing you. Okay. So, as you guys can see, so we ended up buying a deal. We paid eight hundred dollars, and we got five hundred seven wrenches. It's not all wrenches. I mean, we got a few smaller tools, but uh, you know, probably four hundred wrenches. I would guess. I'll show you some of the different stuff. You know, like old vintage Tremo. And the funny thing is, a lot of this stuff is better than the stuff you buy now. This is all full steel, good quality. I love all the ones with these wooden handles. Those are my favorites, actually. You could make a whole set of those. They were all different sizes. Yeah, no, I know. We got to like, uh, I've been, I'm trying not to. I got too much stuff. Well, no. See that over there? There's a baby. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I like the little ones. I think they're really super cool. Yeah. I found, um, and then we found, uh, we got a real neat one over here. Yeah, look at this one. Oh, yeah, with the knives in it? With the knives in it? Look at that. That's cool. It's like what they have now. <coughs> and we only got three bucks on that <laughs> little one. Uh, I put more. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. Price it to sell it. You know, we'll have these sitting here for about 60 days, and whatever's left over, we'll put over to the tool section. So, most of the stuff you see in the shot right here, all this stuff is all $9.99. There's some more cool ones with the twisted metal. These show a lot more age to them. Yeah, I found those too. Those are like this one. Yeah, those are cool. I like sometimes the old patino of the H. Ah, look at these. Yeah, special pliers. That's a Nika. Oh, look at that. Five bucks? Yeah. Jeez. Got different pliers here, special you hold this, this one with the old. Yeah, no, yeah, I'm going to get to that one. So check that one. Check out the date, guys. Yeah, 1885. That. That's December 8th, 1885. To, uh, I think it says Townham Pipe Wrench. Well, you know what? That could be the patent date, too. Yeah, it could be the patent. But still, you know, I mean, even if it's just a patent. But this doesn't say patent, no. It's, it's dated. And here's a day of manufacturing. 
Good that dream was nice. I like that one. It's really clean. It's nice. That is. Just I, I like him when it still look clean. Oh, Foxbury, Massachusetts. Yeah. Wow. Good stuff. Let's see what's this red one right here? Magnum tool. Patent pending. See, I like all these little wood ones right here. We got like ten bucks on these. Some rusted out of We got a lot of wrenches that are like really, really weird shapes. And you know, for some of you guys, I think that the store's really quiet. I mean, we usually have music pl music playing in the background, 50s rock and roll. But we don't play it when we do these YouTube videos just for the simple fact that copyright laws. Super cool wrench. Uh, this is cool right here too. Oh. Just H. No, not that one. 1916 on this one. Did you see the Indian motorcycles on the showcase? Yeah. Check in the knife cases, Indian motorcycles one. So these are bigger ones, so most of these we're charging 20 bucks. I mean, these are super heavy right here. And a lot of stuff right here is like in a $15 price range. Would you take my magazines for those? Yeah, no. No? <laughs> no, them, them, I don't do that well with those magazines. Like, like I got my magazines for five bucks. No, I don't even want Okay, all right. I Sorry. <laughs> I, I, I get so many of those. Yeah, Motor Trend, they're cool, but you know, we sell them for like $1.99, so. Okay. But they're still cool, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I'll put them, I got a whole stack at home. I'll put them with those. Yeah, I mean, they're cool to have. This one is really cool. This actually sells on eBay for $71. It's made in Sweden, Baco 141. I just put 15 bucks on it. But, you know. So, and then we have really little ones. Oops, it just went out. Okay, we go. So we got these really little ones right here. It's about the size of my hand. These are cool. I, I, I do like those little ones. And then over here, we have a lot, lot of different old, just old vintage school pliers and different type of things. We put $2.99 on. That's a nice old one. Yeah, that's really cool too, Tremco. Again, yeah, from Foxborough, Mass. Yeah, a lot of the stuff in here is Tremco. Um, I like this one just because the patina. Yeah, right? Oh my god. Those are heavy. There's some. And then these wrenches are super nice. go outside we'll do the exit hey guys i'm back in my car so you just showed you all the wrenches and stuff i forgot to make an exit video like just a little exit part um i got busy a bunch of people came in but anyway so you see those wrenches 507 wrenches we paid 800 which puts it at a dollar 57 a wrench you know we're probably going to average around close to 10 bucks a wrench uh, whatever doesn't sell at the end uh Whatever doesn't sell at the end, we're probably going to do like discounts and stuff like this to move it. Sorry, get interrupted. So anyway, so $1.57 a wrench. And uh, that's great, you know. We're going to sell them really good. But people say all the time out there, deals are not available. And this is actually is a deal I made with another dealer. It just wasn't right for her for what she wants to do. She buys a lot of big furniture pieces. And like industrial pieces where she makes two, three, four hundred dollars at a time. She doesn't want to make ten dollars at a time. But in my store, that stuff sells perfect every day. I mean, we just as we were putting it out today, we sold like eight or nine of them. So you know, deals are out there everywhere. But the deals are out there, you know, um keep on watching our channel. Like I said, if you like what we do, if you like the knowledge, if you like our fan into action Monday. There's some really cool videos. Make sure to check out the video that says we spent out $22,000. That's a live auction video. There's some really cool stuff on there. And most importantly, smash that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Ring the bell so you get notified um, after you subscribe. And we keep on having more videos. You know, and the more feedback you guys give us, 
the the more we do if you like to see certain things let us know but this was a really good deal i just wanted to share with you guys and um make sure leave me a comment if you enjoyed this video let me know what which wrenches you liked let me know which ones you like the best and um you know anyway thank you for watching and we'll have more stuff coming soon don't forget storage was on any nine nine o'clock i think we ha we do have one coming out this week so nine o'clock i don't know it changes all the time i can't keep up with it but i think this week at nine o'clock you guys enjoy